Hello and welcome to the Canting Club. Our first wine is a white from the Languedoc region of southwest France. Now this is an area that until quite recently was most known for bulk wine, but is now home to some of the most exciting and innovative winemakers in France. This one, the rare vineyards Marsan Viognier, is from a forward-thinking cooperative in the area. Now these grapes, the Marsan and the Viognier, are not native to the Languedoc. They're in fact from the northern Rhone Valley, about 100 miles away. And even there, they're not normally blended together. In fact, this is the first time I've tasted uh, a Marsan Viognier blend. The Viognier is usually used for, uh, on its own for famous wines like Condrio, whereas the Marsan is the main grape of things like White Hermitage, White Saint Joseph, um, Crose Hermit White Crose Hermitage. Uh, so occasionally it's found blended with a variety called the Roussan, which is, like the Viognier, very aromatic. So in theory, although I've never seen it done before, these two ought to work together. So let's see what it tastes like, or first, in fact, what it smells like. Put your nose in, take a good sniff. That's a lovely nose. There's notes of green melon, quite ripe, but not tropical, so like a gallia melon backed up by a lot of honeysuckle. That's probably from the Viognier, uh, because that's a characteristic scent that you get in that grape variety. Beautiful nose, it's, it's delicate and dancing. Lovely. So let's see what it tastes like. Now when tasting, take a reasonably generous mouthful, swirl it around and it sit in your mouth a bit to warm up, and that way all the flavors will come out. Don't sip it. Now that's surprisingly full-bodied. It's quite mouth-filling, despite the only the 12% alcohol on this. And it's a very pleasant contrast with the delicacy of the nose. We've got this quite broad mouth-filling palate. We've got flavours there of pear and melon again. And there's also a very characteristic hint of mouth-coating oiliness which is absolutely typical of these Northern Rome varieties, especially the Viognier, but you also get it in Marsan-based wines. And as we move on into the finish, there's some hints of almonds and of spices, ginger, coming through. Quite a long finish. An absolutely lovely wine, and a, and a terrific example of the sort of exciting wines being made by look forward looking vineyards, uh, vignerons in this area of France. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Cheers.